In a few days, we'll be leaving for Dream Sands Resort in Cancun, Mexico. It is a newly renovated resort, but the reviews aren't so great. The reviews are mixed on this resort. I'm very interested to see what happens on this resort. I'm hearing the food is not good. Food is always a tough subject for me because we're not much of foodies, so it's like, eh. People have generally said that the rooms are outdated and the reviews have just really been a big turnoff. But one thing that everyone agrees on is the beach is fantastic. I have read that the Dreams Beach is the most beautiful beach. So we booked this resort for the beach. Going into it with an open mind. This is just gonna be a nice relaxing vacation for us. Just Brandy and I sipping pina coladas, doing some tequila shots. Try to get as much information for you as we can so you can make a decision on whether or not you wanna stay at the Dreams Sands Resort in Cancun, Mexico. Travel days, travel days. We flew Frontier. I'm not a huge fan, but I'm not against Frontier. Flights were decently priced. But it is a budget airline, so you just have to know you're not getting anything extra. The plane was empty. This is the emptiest flight ever, and I love it. Dream Sands Cancun Resort and Spa is a family all-inclusive located at the top northern part of the hotel zone. This resort had mixed reviews, but you never know what to believe with reviews these days. So we were determined to find out the truth. How bad could it be? We would also be trying out Dream Sands VIP service called Preferred Club. To be part of the Preferred Club, all we had to do was book an upgraded room for an additional fee, and in return would receive these extra perks. But would it be worth it? It was a good flight. We made it to Cancun. Once you get off the plane, you go straight through immigration. You don't have to fill out those immigration forms anymore, so that's kind of nice. So we got our luggage and then went to find Amstar. We find Amstar. I got a Dos Equis outside the airport and it was $8. Don't buy it, but it was actually really good. We got into a van. We got a straight ride here. We had nonstop driving to our resort due to being preferred members here, or preferred club. It's about 25 minute drive from the airport. We got to the resort, we got off the shuttle. I didn't feel like special at all. Before I knew it, someone was handing me a washcloth. I was like, okay. Listen, I like a little washy-washy now and then, but I had a bunch of stuff in my hands and I didn't need one extra thing in my hands. We had to get on an elevator, went up a floor, went into this preferred lounge. They sat us down and the girl that checked us in was very nice. They give us beers. She started going through everything, telling us, you know, these are your perks, this is what you get. She tells us you guys can upgrade to a preferred balcony room if you want. Normally it costs this much, but today we'll give you it for this price. And we're like, nah. But she went through everything with us and told us there's a preferred club for breakfast, there's a preferred club pool that's available for us. And she was gonna give us a tour. And as we go to stand up, another guy butts in and says, I got this, got this. And he kind of like, I thought he was kind of intrusive. And she seemed kind of taken aback by it. I'm just like, well, whatever, maybe this is just, I don't know, a guy that just likes to do tours. Yeah. He's like, oh yeah, come over here. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you all about it. I'll tell you all about it. He walked over, he goes, that's your preferred pool. Those tables over there come with it, the umbrellas and then the beach chairs. And then he said, let's have a seat. That should have been my first clue. I'm pretty sure that was my husband's first clue. He didn't get into it right away, but the minute he starts talking about dreams and different resorts and stuff like that, I started to notice, I'm like, oh wait, the guy worked for the little VIP services. They say it's not timeshare and all this, but they try to, they want you to join some kind of subscription service and pay some extra money. But this gentleman wasn't giving us a tour. He was trying to give us the whole sales pitch about if you go do this 90 minute tour and blah, 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 blah. And then James was like, all right, our room's ready. Let's go to our room. We never got a tour. Look, I know we just got here. We're supposed to be doing a room tour right now before we mess up the room, but I need a beer. So let's go check out this refrigerator. This is gonna be spectacular, right? We're VIP. I just can't wait to see what we got in here. Soul, my favorite. Love. Are you kidding me? Baby beers? What? James, this is the perfect amount of beer. What are you doing? What are you doing? 
That was a big mistake. Nobody takes mama's beer. My baby beer. Two minutes later. We weren't really fighting. We were we were joking. We polished off some beers, which obviously didn't take very long. These things are so tiny. There really is no more beer in here. Look at these beers compared to my face. That we so fast. It I don't like two understand. Swigs. I took like two swigs and it was gone. Now we have no alcohol left in the room. We haven't left the room. We haven't seen what this resort is all about yet. Now, Brandy, what are we gonna do? James. I think we should get this room tour started. <laughs> we are in room 822 at the Dream Sands Resort here in Cancun, Mexico. This is a King Oceanfront preferred room. Preferred means that there's it's a VIP style room, gets extra amenities, which we'll go over later. So we're gonna go through this room tour real quick. When you walk in the room to your left here, there are two closet doors. There's two nice robes, and then there's an iron ironing board. There is an umbrella, which that's kind of nice, and a little thing for your luggage. If you open the other side of the door here, there is a safe, some extra bedding, um, and a couple drawers here. Nice size closet and quite a bit of hangers, so that's kind of nice. Can you hear the drilling, y'all? I'm not sure, I'm not sure what's happening. Maybe they're upgrading some rooms and just haven't hit ours. So if you go to your right, here's the sink area. There's this nice, these are always nice for when you do your makeup and that kind of stuff. There is lotion, shampoo and conditioner all in one. There is hand soap, a sewing kit, a shaving kit, a razor, shaving cream, and then there's a dental kit, toothbrush. Look how tiny that is. And then a hair comb, a little comb, tissues. Down below is a scale and a blow dryer oh, wow. down there. Oh, wow. Classic hotel blow dryer. When you walk into the bathroom, there's, so this is my biggest concern, the shower. So the shower head looks like it's not great. <laughs> I haven't used it, I but oh, we'll see. And then up here not is anymore. a dry line. So that's the bathroom, nothing special. Not very big, sure. No, small. And then we walk in here, and this is my favorite part of the room. The size of this mirror. It is huge. It's a darn near a whole floor to ceiling mirror. And then you come in and there's some shelves, a TV. There is a, a little seat here to sit and that's stained. It's got lots of stains on it. Stain, stain. And I'm not picky at all, but that's kind of gross. The preferred rooms have coffee pots and there's some cups and some, um, there's an ice bucket there. I don't know where the ice is, but I'm sure it's around here somewhere. In our refrigerator here, we have regular Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola light, Sprite, Fanta, water. I'm assuming this is sparkling water, apple juice and mango juice. And then four beers. Up top are our preferred bonus things and we get- Beautifully displayed. Yep, we get M&Ms and we get a little thing of Pringles. Are they not almost like hidden up there? They are Those hidden ones. so that you don't use them. <laughs> the room decor, there's five pieces of room decor on the wall. That's what we get. So there's a king size bed, which I bet this bed is comfortable. Um, it comes with a bunch of pillows, which I appreciate. Um, this is a preferred thing. We got this at the Breathless Resort in Punta Cana too. These bags are the bomb. I loved our bag from Breathless. I actually still use it. So I'm ex I didn't bring a bag hoping that we would get one. Um, and then there's slippers. All right, then you have a table and chairs. And then this tells you that you get a bottle of liquor. We'll get a bottle of liquor. We chose rum. Yeah. So we'll see what size liquor bottle we get. But then this door right here, this is just leading to another room. This is a apparently an option for a conjoining room that doesn't have a balcony. It has no outdoor space at all. This was a little bit different for us um, when we've had preferred rooms or VIP rooms in the past. All of them have had balconies or outdoor rooms on the first floor. So this is our view from our oceanfront king room. It is a beautiful view. It's a very large window and it, it expands the whole width of the room. That window was actually much better than what we were expecting. It was big. It only opened about six inches. 
This room is pretty basic. There's nothing really too special about this room. For a preferred room, I would expect a little bit more, I guess, but I'm not too picky. This doesn't feel like an upgraded room. The bed seems comfortable. We haven't slept in it yet, but the room is definitely outdated. Cleanliness, I'm not saying the room isn't clean, but the fabrics that they chose when they did these rooms are stained. So like the seat and then the exterior around the bed. The bed linen looks clean, but the stuff that is cloth that goes on top of things that all kind of looks a little stained and dirty. It's not that the room is like gross or anything. It's just beat up. It's seen better days, okay? Furniture's kind of scuffed up and like you can just tell that things are just a little bit older. Like could use a little bit more grout. Could use some paint, some uh, oh, just a whole new redesign. It's got to go with this beach. So I would say they could definitely put some money in their rooms. I feel like we got a regular room with some M&Ms and Pringles. It is what it is. I'm not like totally disappointed because we did get it for a good price. We booked on a Black Friday deal. Yeah, that's a real thing. We're probably pretty easy to please. We'll have to check out and see what the rest of the resort looks like. I do know that they've done a lot of renovations to the main areas. So we'll have to check those out and see where we're at with those. The beach is beautiful. I do give them that. They do have a beautiful beach here. It looks really nice. I can see it from my room here. I haven't been down there yet, but I'm about to go down there. Go into that, see if it's the cellar. Hello? Yes? Okay. I was talking to Roger. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Roger wants us to come down and sell us something. Well, he doesn't want to sell us something. He wants to give us $200 credit for something, and he wants us to stop by. Something tells me Roger wants to take more of my time though for that $200 credit. I'm not willing to give it to him, so if I see Roger's, Roger, I'm gonna say, hey Roger, how's it going bro? And I'm just gonna walk right by him to the bar. Cause I know how this stuff goes. I'm only here for four days. I'm ready to get a pina colada, a shot of tequila. Oh. I'm going crazy. We're about to get out of this room and go, go to, straight to the bar. We're going straight to the bar. Roger, I'm sorry, but we gotta go to the bar. We're about to just kind of go head out and venture around and do our own little tour since Mr. interrupted our tour. So we just walked around, kind of checking out the grounds, checking out the beach. Looks really pretty. Swimming pools look really nice. There's a shine party tonight outdoors. It doesn't seem real busy today. So they tell me that entertainment and everything pretty much stops at 1030 which is fine for us because we're old and 10.30 is a perfect time for us to call it a night. But if you're a younger person, 10.30 is kind of early. This seems at first glance to be a super laid back style resort. There's plenty of bars, which is perfect, but we'll see. The bar at the Barracuda had a whole menu with ingredients in it. I like that. On tap, they have Dos Equis. So Dos Equis Amber and Dos Equis Clear. Totally works for me. I do enjoy both of those. Look, what's up with the baby beers? I feel like this is even a baby glass. I got baby beers in my cooler, and then I'm getting baby glasses of beers when I go to the bar. What am I doing wrong here? I thought I was preferred. What's nice about baby beers, though, is like they're just more crushable. I feel like I'm getting a shot of beer. I love this. Getting served drinks, just chilling out here. Tonight we ate at El Patio. We're gonna call it El Patio because it's spelled patio. The patio. But it was indoors, it wasn't on a patio. But it is a Mexican restaurant. It's supposed to be authentic Mexican restaurant. It was definitely different. Fancy dinner we got here. It took a long time to get our food. I feel like they wanna wear you out and get you tired. Carpaccia. Something with a pineapple ceviche. That's what it is. I got a lasagna of some sort, and it was not great. I didn't like it at all. James liked it. He said it was just very beany. I got a dessert that was a guava creme brulee, and it was really good. Came with ice cream. The only thing it was missing is it like didn't have the flame across the top to make it crunchy. But if it would have had that crunch on the top, it would have been superb. I got tortilla soup as an appetizer, some kind of flank steak dinner. I don't remember what it was called on the menu, but it was okay. Nothing that really impressed me. And then the dessert was pretty good. Mine wasn't good. Brandy says mine wasn't good. 
James had these disgusting little cottage cheese filled something something somethings. He liked them and it was all I could do to chew and swallow them. That's not bad. I wasn't too impressed with the Mexican restaurant, but our server, our server was exceptional. He was great. Presentation, great. Looked like really delicious food. But once you took a bite into it, I was like, uh, needs like some more salt, need some more spice. I've never been to a Mexican restaurant that had no flavor. I told Brandy this is like the hospital version of Mexican food, if that makes any sense to you. They were really particular on whether or not you have allergies and all that stuff when we first got here. And they asked that at the restaurants and stuff too. And then they give you hospital food. So tomorrow we'll go to a different restaurant and we'll try not to go to the same restaurant twice. I thought the candle was fake, it's not. It was a real candle. <laughs> Their entertainment tonight was a shine party. Yo, this party is lit. I still don't know what that means. I asked and he said, it shines. That's what the bartender said. People wearing glow sticks and stuff like that. But they call it the shine party. There was a lot of glow sticks and people glow. Hey. They had a DJ and all the families came out and were dancing. Definitely a family oriented resort. You know the other weird thing about being at this resort? You don't get wristbands. So we stopped at the Rendezvous Bar, which is the lobby bar on our way back up to our room. And I ordered a Jack and Coke. The guy goes, I'm so sorry, ma'am. I have Jack only for preferred members. I'm like, that's okay because I'm preferred. And he's like, oh, okay. So I don't know if I just look like I'm not. I'm not sure how we tell if we're preferred or not uh, when we don't have any wristbands. But apparently today, guys, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not looking preferred. Anyways, I got to pick my amount of liquor, which I have horrible judgment because I said, oh, that's good. And it is so strong. But the rendezvous bar is open till 1 a.m. It's a nice little area. There's live entertainment down there tonight, a lady and a piano singing. The two bars that are open until 1 a.m. are Halftime and Rendezvous. Halftime is the sports bar, and then the rendezvous bar is the lobby bar. I haven't seen any 24-hour bars, and the only 24-hour food that I see is the room service. Oh, been a long day. Um, but it was a good day. Helped a family take some family photos. Got to watch the sun go down. You can see the sunset perfectly. It was a beautiful night to watch the sunset. Pictures do not do it justice. It was stunning. The ocean water feels really warm. This beach is beautiful. This makes up for the outdated room. <laughs> kind of figuring out the resort a little bit. There's a lot of families here, which is great. I don't mind. I love hearing the laughter and all the conversations being had and I, I love hearing families make memories so that doesn't bother me one bit except for when they're screaming in my room next door. You can hear everything from your neighbors, at least in our room. It sounds like they're in our room with us. If you don't like kids, this is not the resort for yeah. you. I don't know how I feel about this resort on day one. We're having a good time. I will say that. Big day ahead of me tomorrow. Gotta figure out this resort. I need to learn more about Preferred Club. I think there's two extra bars that we have access to and one private pool that's for Preferred members only. What's going on with the Preferred thing? Cause uh, I don't really know. So far it's a little bit overrated, but I might change my mind tomorrow. So stick around and subscribe to the channel. So our plan for day two today is to enjoy the beach and um, yeah, uh, good. Yeah, the service over here in the preferred section is great. But the plan for our second day is to hang out at the beach, check out the pools, and then we'll see you tomorrow at the Dream Sands in Cancun. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. We're gonna figure out what's really going on at this resort. Is it all beach, like they say? Or is there really something to this resort that the reviewers are just not mentioning? We'll let you know.